Hello, my name is Kark City 2 and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. Oh, we're still good. Uh, I need to get away from these turbines because they go through so quick. So I am trying to push for Cosmic Neutronium. I think that's probably the next kind of project I'm going to do. Uh, I just need to centrifuge a bunch of Black Plutonium for that. I probably should just... Get that going, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, do you, I don't want to do all of it, though. I mean, I could always just turn my Void Miner on again. I don't... <laughs> I'm, like, overthinking it, obviously. Uh, but, I don't know. Let's throw... I'm just going to throw a bunch of this stuff in our centrifuge. Just to get it kind of going. Uh, and see... I'm curious to see what our ratio is. I think this is I'm pretty sure this is the only way to get this I could be wrong though uh, so for 8 12 we'll do how about 12 stacks and we'll see we'll see how much uh, tiny piles of cosmic neutronium or whatever it's called yeah I'll just throw this all in here and we'll see I didn't even look at the tier that should go pretty quick. So that is that. Now, this I have been messing around with, and as I remember, we couldn't get it to connect. Well, I managed to actually get it connected. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be replacing our entire, all our interfaces with this. I don't know, we'll see. I have heard it's laggy, but then I heard, saw on like, another post that said it had been fixed, so I don't know. We'll see. So usually you just put your your things in here, but to get it to connect, like we see, it doesn't connect. It's turned on. It doesn't doesn't seem to connect. But it seems like that I don't get this because that was turning that turned off as soon as I put that in there last time. All right, is this gonna connect? Now it connects. All right, yeah, last time we put the data orb in, it immediately shut off, so still uh, still trying to figure out the mechanics of this, this thing. Um, also, slightly annoying that it needs to be connected from the front. If you post this downwards, it, is, uh, it says incomplete structure. Okay, so if I put this in here, it also doesn't show. Hmm, that's another little, just a very minor, a minor thing that, like, that doesn't show what it actually is. Also, I'm just thinking, I'm like, this isn't going to show up on our interfaces, will it? Hmm, all right, so there definitely is some... Um, some, uh, a little bit... Not as user friendly. I mean, if I just do the big super buses, you could, in theory, just put all your recipes in there and it like wouldn't really matter. But if you need to pull them out, yeah, that's going to be a pain. Because you would have to hold shift down and then go through all to find the one you want. Let's see if this just works, though. That's all I kind of wanted. Is that the one I put in there? I don't even remember what I put in there. Yeah, the IV. All right, well, the IV module is right there. And that does work. I never did fix this tungsten. I need to do that. Right after I do this, I'm going to do that. I need to fix these recipes that use carbon because they clash. Like that. I'm assuming, I don't even remember, by the time I get over there, it's going to be done. Yeah, it's already done. No. Oh, that's right, because this, the reason that's ticking on and off, because it uses oxygen, and it's only fixed so much oxygen, so it tears through that. But if I put it in with, say, tungsten steel with the carbon, then it uses that recipe, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, let's try conveyor. Like 
this. I mean, it doesn't really... It acts kind of like the... This clean room. It just runs, but it doesn't... You're not going to get any signal that it is working. I mean, there we go. It did work. Again, though, I don't know. I'm worried if I put hundreds of recipes in there, it's going to start lagging from what I have read. But, I mean, I guess I could start just dumping all the stuff in there. This could be a good time to actually clean out all the recipes we no longer use. Uh, most of that stuff we do, but some of this stuff, like... Like IV fluid extractor, probably never gonna use that ever again. Like these lower tier stuff, uh, they just take up room. So, all right. Well, we did get it to work. I will have to decide if this is something I want to expand. I think the main benefit is the like speed that that we can do. Like if we overclock it. You can do like hundreds of jobs. So I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Okay, let me uh, really quick, let me fix some of my recipes. I may end up just, I was kind of thinking just throwing a storage bus in here and then just stocking it with carbon because there's a whole bunch of carbon recipes. Thought I had more of those. I just don't want them to clash is like if there is silicone in not silicone if there is carbon in there is that going to screw up just some of my regular recipes I don't know we'll see okay moving on I think I'm gonna work towards I kind of wanted to try this thing out the comet compact whatever uh, I thought that would be kind of cool to check out, um, but really quick, um, I did throw a storage bus on the super bus right here, so you can actually see the patterns. There it is, and I can even like remove it from the multi-block assembler. I wasn't entirely sure, like if I do bi-directional, I have a feeling like I ain't gonna go in there. Yeah, I was like, there's no way that's actually gonna go back in there. So it does feel a bit kind of, eh, I don't know, not loving it. It just feels a bit more convoluted than I was hoping it would be. I was really just kind of hoping, you know, you could maybe replace the machine casings with the interfaces or something like that. And that's how it would work, but now it's uh it is a bit more convoluted. I may throw some recipes in there, but I don't think it is gonna replace just doing the regular uh interfaces on the molecular symbols in the middle. So I think I'll probably just keep doing that. Now that actually just as I'm looking at this, I'm like, I really should just throw some more molecular assemblers throw some speed upgrades in there and kind of improve that a little bit i do plan on moving this all away from here eventually i keep saying that i just never get around to it never ending to-do list anyway moving on uh like i said i do think we're gonna i want to check out this cyclotron and as we can see i have so much <laughs> so much to-do list it just never ends it just keeps growing I keep doing that to dual. I'm even running out of patterns on my items plus fluid assembler. So I'm probably going to have to do some recipes here. I don't think I have everything for the gears and the... Yeah, I didn't think we had the gears, plates. I need to do a molten recipe for that. Now these cyclo coils, these are their own kind of deal. So, yeah, I think we're going to be 
spending some time crafting this up. Uh, it does feel relatively simple. It doesn't feel like super complicated. What was that outer casing? Cyclo, yeah, let's do this. Cyclotron, outer casings. Eh. Zirconium carbide is a bit of a pain. But a lot of this stuff I already have recipes for. I mean, like electric pistons, long steel rods. I have recipes for all this stuff, so not super concerned about that. But definitely going to have to add recipes here and there. Okay, really quick. I am getting everything crafted up for the cyclotron. And one of the things I am desperately lacking is nether stars we've been doing the salus mundus route and uh i finally have just broken down and fixed the or bred the bees that we need so i did the the wither bee i think i had to do i think six six different types i think we needed to get yeah withering draconic abandoned nameless spiteful hateful all right so about seven uh, to get the wither but uh, yeah we finally have the wither that is producing sparkling combs which as we know the usual recipe talic acid and purified nether star ore so there we go we have a thousand nether star ore i even turned it off and just put the lapatron b back in so i figured this would last us for a while still need to redo this setup never particularly liked it i redid it and then i redid it and then i redid it again no i just realized it's a bit wrong no i'm talking stop no ah that's not what i wanted i think it was five seconds it's supposed to go in here i don't know how much went through there but uh yeah you want to sift them i believe this is a better I think you get a better ratio with that. It could be wrong, but. I didn't see how much went through. Oh, well. I'm glad I don't know how much I just wasted in there. <laughs> Not that it matters. There are infinite resources at this point. Uh, so, yeah, that is just processing that. Uh, and the reason I needed a whole bunch was for the... We need field generators. We need 32 of these, I think. Yeah, so I have crafted up the crystal processors while I was doing the bees. Now I have the nether stars to craft them up. So there we go. Yeah, so we need 32 of those for the cyclo whatevers, the coils, which I have got everything. Now this recipe, I think this recipe actually changed in the update, and I don't really have... A good way to do it just the way i've set up my blast furnace because i have this directly inputting in the input bus and then the fluid gets outputted into the fluid solidifier and then the fluid solidifier outputs directly into here like i don't really have a way to split up fluids and items and i think that recipe i think it used a cell a cell of mercury in the recipe so I think I'm probably just gonna it's gonna input a cell. It's not gonna do the I'll just do the mercury manually, I guess. Um I really should do something about that. I don't feel like messing with that. I could just do like another interface. It doesn't really matter. Like I could just have a separate interface to this. And then drop this down. But it's really only one recipe. It's like this one annoying recipe that is items and a fluid. Like there's no other ones that I do so far. Anyway, let me continue crafting this up. We got that. And I just need the Cyclotron outer casings. And we are... We should be good. Okay, we are back. I just threw a terminal over by my... <laughs> wall of bees because i was getting tired of searching i couldn't remember if i had a silicone drone and i kept thinking i did but uh, i haven't crafted that one up yet uh, i'm gonna need to do that 
pretty quickly here because I do want uh, phosphorus. I want the bedrockium, and I I want a mica a mica B as well to get all the mica that we use in our our coils. But other than that, I have gone ahead and I've got most of this. I wasn't sure how many more of these we were going to need. And I wanted to just craft up the exact amount because they are kind of annoying um, with some of these crafts. Uh, the Eglin is a bit annoying because it needs a circuit of 20 and I don't have a 20 yet. So, yeah. Um, but I have gone ahead and expanded again. I have packed on another transformer and we're sending power to it over here because uh, this is going to need quite a bit of room. Obviously, the cyclotron is like the fusion reactor. As we know, that is pretty big. And I'm sure we're going to need more than these. Um, but that is kind of where we're at. So I'm going to... Let's do... there and then let's see oh that's right <laughs> uh, I don't know why the things are on the inside it drives me nuts like why doesn't that why can't that be on the outside yeah so as we can see uh pretty big um yeah, that's fine. At least I just need to get it going and placed all the the things. Now I do need I was looking at this and here, let me put the thing over here. Uh it does say somewhere on here, what does it say? All hatches much must be IV or better. I'm assuming that means these can't be HV. And I don't know if this output bus is going to work. Because this is like... It uses an HV output bus in the recipe. So I don't know if this stuff is going to work. And muffler hatch. Don't know if that's going to work. And uh, it is kind of funny that a particle accelerator needs a muffler hatch. Just going to say that. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to start building this. Does this... Uh, it does work. You never know. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's like yelling at me. <laughs> don't do it, don't do it. So, I wonder if it has like a specific order it places in. Hmm. I think it does actually. I didn't know that. I thought it just kind of like placed the stuff, but I mean that obviously is building it in a certain way. All right, so that actually did place the hatches. I don't know. I wasn't reading what the thing was saying, but yeah. Okay, so I am going to craft the rest of the casings up. Um, I'll probably just manually place these down and then I'll just count like how much stuff we need. Oh, that was taking it out of the thing. That's right. It takes the stuff out of the A system. I'm not used to that yet. So it wasn't pulling from my inventory. It was pulling from what we had in the A system. All right. I totally forgot that it does that. Um, But I'm also thinking... I ha I think I'm actually going to start... I really kind of want to... I've really been thinking about this for a while, and that is redoing my cabling. Ever since I started doing the transformers, like, it just gets kind of annoying. And I was thinking about kind of upgrading all our wireless stuff to... Or all our cabling, get rid of all that, and then just pipe it directly into the thing. Minor issue with that is the wireless connectors don't accept 32 channels. As you can see, it's only the eight 
But I did kind of want to see if I add this or connect this, how much is this actually going to add to it? I remember they used to be wrong. Alright, that does say a thousand AE. I wonder if that's correct. Yeah, okay, so that is that is correct. Should probably switch it to EU per tick. Okay, so that's not, that's not too bad at all. I thought that was gonna be like five or six thousand. Uh, Greg or EU protect. Okay, so let me finish crafting up all of these. Let me figure out how much stuff we want, and we'll see if we can get this up and running. Okay, we are back. I am trying to get this thing formed. Uh, I have replaced the hatches with LUV. Unfortunately, when this auto places, sometimes since it's pulling from the A system, I don't know what's placing and where it's placing. Uh, so it is pl placing some hatches that I didn't realize. Like it placed another maintenance hatch here, even though I already had one up front. Uh, so I'm trying to get this formed. We do have a muffler hatch here. And... I just realized that looks... Looks a bit funny. Isn't that where... That's usually where the... Isn't that usually where the energy hatches go on the fusion reactor? I'm just like looking at that. I'm like, that feels weird. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm still having issues getting this to form. There's probably something somewhere that I'm not seeing. I don't know if there's like, oh, right here. I don't know if there's like an extra casing somewhere or a, a hatch that... Like right here, output hatch. See, I didn't see that. I've been flying around this thing, and I didn't see that. So I'm kind of... I don't know if I like it pulling stuff out of AE. What if there's a way to turn that off? Just because it's placing stuff down that I don't really want it to place down, just because it's in my A system. Ah, there we go. We got it. All right, we got the cyclo thingamajig. We got it to a form. All right, I was one off on the thing. Math is hard. Okay, so there we go. We got that. Now we got this. Oh, that's just the. That's just like that. If you do that, that's all that is. I was like, oh, this is crazy, and then realized that isn't. Uh, what is all this craziness? Uh, so I think we're going to need to pipe hydrogen in here. Hydrogen is going to be the first thing we're going to do. And uh, I probably will end up moving. Maybe I'll move the input hatch down. So we can access it from underneath. Also, I do kind of want to see if... This works. Okay, it does look like the output bus into ME does work. Uh, I don't know if I want that or do I just want... Actually, let me try... Let me try this. Maybe try this. I don't think that's going to work. Hmm. <laughs> well, now it formed. I don't know. I don't want that, though. Uh, I'm not going to do the that one. Yeah, let's just do this so I can manually do it. And let me get this connected to hydrogen, I think we're going to do. Because I need to get hydrogen. Yeah, I need to get hydrogen particles, ions. So, circuit of 24 hydrogen gas, and hopefully it'll get us ions. So, let's try this out. And I've gone ahead and crafted up the ender fluid. So, we can just do this. 
I still haven't decided how I want to do this. If we're going to be transporting with underfluid conduits, are we going to be doing storage buses, are we going to stick with P2P? Uh, I do, I am kind of thinking I want to get away from P2P, to be honest, but I haven't entirely decided. I also need to rename my underfluids because you can actually use letters now. And I just haven't done that because I don't remember all the places that we put underfluid conduits. So that is why I haven't done that. I'm thinking I'll wait until we do that. Okay. So I guess that's that. And then I do have our UV should be hooked up. And then... I guess we could just throw a, a circuit on there, I guess we'll do. So if I need these, 24. We got the 24, we got our hydrogen, is that all we need to do? Is there, a, is there an on button for this one? I don't know if there is. Are these actually buttons? They don't feel like, oh, it's maintenance. It's probably like the, yeah, it's the different maintenance that you might need. All right. I hope these bars don't like go down and when it runs out, you need to do maintenance. Oh, there we go. Well, that wasn't too bad. All right, so it doesn't have like an internal buffer like the fusion reactor does. It's just gonna run. Question is, are we getting items out of this? Oh yeah, we are. Look at that. So it does look like you could just hold ions, you know, as one does. Oh, okay. So that's... They have different charges. That's something that I didn't realize. I mean, it makes sense, but I did. that is definitely not something I realized was going to happen with this recipe. Oh yeah, look at that. Unknown charge... Oh, it just says unknown charge. Okay. Well, that's that. What we are going to do is put them back in the compact cyclotron with hydrogen again, which is why I just wanted to hook it up directly. And then we're going to get protons, neutrons, electrons, and unknown particles. I don't know if this needs to be... Does it need to be a certain... Gonna be any of them? I I don't know. I am gonna let this run for a while because that's well. I mean, this is a five percent, and we're getting them like I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this run. Wow, go, positive six. Holy cow! How how many are we gonna get? <laughs> I feel like this is just asking to clog up a systems. Are we still running? Yeah, it's still running. Five seconds. Okay, I am kind of glad I did do UV. Because that is not the the quickest of recipes. So let me let this run, I don't know, for a half hour or something like that. Uh, and see how many we get. And then we can try again and see if we get unknown particles. Because then the unknown particle... Okay, so yeah, that's a 1% of a percent chance of a percent chance. All right, so yeah, probably I need to let this run for quite a while, actually. I don't know if we're going to be <laughs> getting that today. I wonder, is 6 and negative 6 like the highest it goes? I don't know. I'm sure someone with better understanding of particles and charges would know the answer to that so okay let me let that run i may end up actually maybe we'll do i don't really want to do drawers i'm kind of over drawers at this point in the pack to be honest i like doing more techie maybe i'll do a subnet for particles because i feel like this will just clog up everything and i don't want that but i don't really want to do a super chest for each of these I don't know. I'll think about that. Um, so we'll come back next episode and see if we can get a quantum anomaly. And then with that, 
we can get advanced knights and all. And with that, we might actually be able to get the matter fabrication CPU, or mass fabricator, which will boost our U matter. I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, that's going to be for today, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.